Hey folks, I'm Bill Langer and you're watching Traditional Adventures TV. Swine Fever was the very first hunting video I ever produced. Some of the footage dates back to 1993. I didn't know what I was doing, but I sure had fun doing it. I hope you enjoy. stand we're gonna look for my pig now this is the swamp buggy and they're all on that right now Yeah, I can see. What's that? <laughs> He's married to my sister, be careful. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Thank you, bud. But he has. Let's see how Dick makes out on his evening hunt. It's the fourth night of the hunt. Uh, my luck hasn't been that good. Tonight, uh, things changed. Red hog with the black stripes on it came in. It was a boar hog. I liked the looks of it. Gave me a good opportunity, so I took my shot. And was uh, was lucky. Made a good shot. A little high, but exited low. So we got it.
right, let's join Jim on his early morning stalk and see if he has any better luck. Due to camera malfunction, video footage of Jim's recovery wasn't possible. But in any event, nice job, Jim. Head right down through here. There's blood spraying out all over. So. Just head right down through here. Just hosing out of him. There he is. Bigger than I thought he was. Sorry. A lot bigger than I thought he was. I estimated him to only be about 100 pounds, but he's well over that. Right here. 
is a good hog. The biggest hog I've ever taken. Sure. Florida. It's a place to hunt hogs. Came in with a bunch of other sows and little ones. A couple small boars. But uh, made a good hit on them. Came out perfect. Hit them good. How far do you go? When, uh... I don't know, I probably tracked him about half the distance, so I don't know, maybe 60 or 70 yards after I hit him. He was on a dead run, as you can see, he wasn't, wasn't going very far. But February hog hunt, it's good to get away from, uh, from Connecticut in the cold weather and get down here and hunt some hogs. He's a good pig, a real good pig. Now we gotta get him out of here. <laughs> Let's now head to South Texas and the King Ranch for some hog and javelina action. First Pavelina, first morning, we decided to, to stalk this area. A lot of prickly pear. Uh, it looked real good. I could see a lot of gnaw marks on a prickly pear. And we were just stalking around. Uh, all of a sudden, on our left, it started to come through. So I spotted some, so I waited. The first one walked out in the open, and uh, I shot him. Hit him, uh, hit him right here. Good double lung shot. Uh, Real pleased with it. See if you can go out and get yours now. On. I'm not sure, sure whether it came out. We'll have to go back and look at it. But I hit him. He turned just as I shot, and I got him in the rear end here. But it didn't go very far. I went and got him in the bushes and put another shot into him. So we got him. We'll go after some others later on today. <laughs> kind of a tough one. 
Here's John on a stock for feral hogs. Get out of the way. Shoot him. Well, got another javelina. We head back to Florida where we catch up with Jim on a late morning stock. Jimbo. Pull him on out of there. Oh yeah. That's a good little shooter right there. What do you think, Billy? Did he take out the lungs? That's a good one, yeah. He got the lungs there. Just quartering a hair to you, and I think that's why it passed out and came out through the back a little bit. But hold that baby up. That was a good job, Jim. Stalked in on him, shot him on the ground. We'll be eating tonight. Either very small or very big. No in between. No <laughs> particle. Right Where the hell is it? <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? We drove all the way out here for that. Woo! Where is it? <laughs> I don't see it yet. <laughs> there it is. See it? You call yourself a hunter? Within four feet of you. Good thing it ain't alive, dude. <sighs> you weren't <in> <laughs>
boys. How's the hunting been? Good. Good. It's been good. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of game, a tremendous amount of pigs down here. Uh, the big ones, by their own, by nature, they're, they're proving a little elusive. But as far as just seeing animals and, and getting shots, it's, it's like pig heaven. I think given another trip down, with a, a little more experience and everything that was learned this trip, I think next time we come down, I think we'll all have our shots at, at truly big hogs, because they're here. It's just that, like any other animal that attains a larger size, they tend to be a little more elusive. But if you just want to come down and, and shoot good eating-sized pigs and see game, this is the place. I haven't been anywhere better. But I don't know if it's, Texas has the variety of animals. I mean, you come down here, you hunt feral hogs. You go to Texas, you hunt feral hogs, you have javelina. There's a tremendous amount of, of predators, coyotes, bobcats. There's more of a variety of game. Yeah. Yeah, the terrain's a little more hostile, and it's more expensive to get there, et cetera, et cetera. It's substantially farther away from home. But as much as I, I, I would very easily make this a yearly thing, but I still have that desire to get back to Texas. Sitting here in camp and the snake just came up right outside the camper where we sleep. Snakes, I don't know. Look at that snake right there. Do you want me to shoot it? We camp here. Were you shooting him in the head? Well, I don't know if he reached the head, but. You did not belong here. Right, John. Nice job. You did not belong here, sir. Any pictures of that? That's nice. John, go over there and stand by your trophy. We got him before he got us. Bleed away. Bleed away. This thing's quite the long. What is that thing? Turn him sideways so you can see his color. Oh, God. This thing is going in. I have my jacket to the off. I can lay it on the ground behind me. What's your plan now? You run out quick or no? Where have you guys been? A lot of hogs out there. A lot of hogs. Couldn't see if there were boars or sows, so we hesitated. You know, you got you got a uh, you got any bags for your corn or no? You, you, well, what it was, you could see the grass moving. We knew pigs were in there. Okay, pretty good. Oh my God! You I am. <laughs> guys on these trips. <laughs> this book, he's even got a radio. Yeah, swine music.
where I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how John does filming his own hunt. Florida's elusive swamp chicken. This one on a, uh, this one on camera. This one is excellent. Good hit. He only went 20 yards. Ran right by our uh, by our stand and ran right underneath us. Nice, nice boar. Good eating. Bill and Jim have teamed up for doubles on this evening's hunt. Let's watch as the action unfolds. All right, now it's Jim's turn.
sandwich swine. We gotta let those grow up a little bit. John's about to show off his skills once again as both bow hunter and cameraman. night at a hunt, hunting stand 10 all four nights. I saw plenty of pigs, but nothing that really looked too awful, awful big. I mean, some smaller boars shot a couple of them, actually. One was, you know, 35, 40 pounds, the other one maybe 50 or 60, but never really saw anything like this on it. So, last night, leaving the stand, I caught a couple big hogs or a couple big boar hogs in the open area next to it, they wait to maybe get to the bait or just not willing to come to the bait. So, Today during noontime we moved the stand into the position where he was uh, where he was just about last night. And sure enough, probably similar time, 6.20, 6.30, he showed up there with a there was already a bunch of sows and some little ones and stuff like that. And kind of he just followed the sows right in and about a 10-yard shot. It was kind of duck suit. Let's see how Dick makes out trying his son-in-law's techniques. Not too shabby, Dick. A little boar, probably about, I'd say, 65, 70 pound. Nice hit. It didn't go 35, 40 yards. Uh, watched it fall right over. I got my pig. No trailing tonight. It's a good hit. Symphony of cows. <laughs> Thank you. 
Nice talk, Dick. Better luck next time. I gotta see that again. A shot a little bit high almost clipped the spine but it sharp angle down and came out uh, caught the lungs probably went about maybe 75 100 yards and uh, we uh, put on the trail oh, and found it. Oh, Swine. <laughs> Someone board swine here and I'm like, go. go. Gotta be careful, you always gotta wear rubber gloves down here. You get something called the swine flu. It gives you these brown, blotchy splashes on your hands. I uh, failed to wear my rubber gloves. It just gets in your bloodstream with a cut like that. Start getting all these brown patches on you. I got them on my arms. Start to fester. Gotta be careful. Gotta go home and see a doctor. It's in the weather forecast. Damn cold tonight. I'm just having. Oh, sorry. Go ahead.